Okay, hi there. Welcome uh, to a micro video. In class this week, we were looking at some industries, some markets where revenues to businesses or the income a firm gets from selling a certain amount of goods and services, where those revenues have been fluctuating quite a bit in the last year or so. So I thought I'd take you through a few examples. Uh, what do we mean by revenue? Well, revenue to an economist is the money, if you like, the income, the flow of income into a business uh, from selling the goods and services that they've made from selling those products in markets. And we also call it business turnover. So here are some examples we've looked at in class just in the last few days of businesses and industries where revenues are fluctuating quite a bit. First example is Zoom. Uh, Zoom has benefited hugely from the switching to online working and studying from home. And as this chart shows, their forecast revenues for the second quarter of 2021 are 10 times higher than for the first quarter of 2019. This is a business that is clearly riding the wave of the shift towards working and studying uh, from home and, and uh, the, the video communications technology that uh, is demanded because of that. Another business that has seen its revenues surge is the gym equipment and online exercise business Peloton. Their turnover has climbed sharply, almost moving into another gear, if you like, with forecast sales of 2021 nearly double that of 2020 and four times higher than that of 2019. This is a, a premium exercise equipment business that, again, is absolutely flying at the moment. Mobile gaming has also seen a surge in the revenues flowing into mobile game service providers, judging from the data here, from mobile gaming revenues uh, from Apple's App Store and also from Google Play. Uh, the rise of those two platforms uh, is uh, clear to see. On the other hand, here is an industry uh, that is really in deep water as far as revenues are concerned. The income flowing to businesses such as Carnival, uh, Royal Caribbean Group and Norwegian have collapsed because of the corona virus pandemic. See from the chart here how there's been a dramatic slump in passenger ticket revenue for cruise businesses alongside uh, an inevitable fall off in the onboard and other revenues that these businesses can generate when people are actually on the ships enjoying their cruises. Uber is a business where they've seen one part of their revenues fall quite sharply but another section of the business has seen a partial uh, rebound. So Uber's revenues from, from rides have dropped sharply from over $12 billion a quarter in the second quarter of 2019 to just $3 billion in the same quarter of 2020. Uh, but this has been partially offset by the surge in business revenue from their meal delivery business, Uber Eats. And that, I think, shows the benefit a little bit from a strategy of diversification. Pret is a business in the news at the moment. Many of you may well use it, particularly if you live and study in London or other major cities in the UK. The sandwich chain Pret, which I quite like, and by the way, they are quite eat uh, in a takeover last year. They've suffered a big fall in turnover due to the pandemic. Indeed, they've already announced nearly 3,000 job losses and numerous shop closures. They say that a decade of revenue growth has been wiped off the company in just a matter of weeks. Sales revenues, don't forget turnover, top line income is, I think, something like 60 to 70 percent lower than a year ago uh, because there's just fewer people in London on the streets. Uh, this is a business highly dependent on the strength of the London economy in particular. It relies for its revenues and profits on the high volume of people queuing up for coffees and sandwiches and also people willing to pay a, a price premium for their products. So this is very, very challenging times indeed for Pret. Uh, they're cutting their workforce, they're trying to renegotiate the rents they pay to uh, to their landlords, and they're trying to reinvent themselves in a sense. They've already announced, for example, they're going to open more branches out of London, move towards the suburbs. Uh, they're going to offer delivery services to city dwellers. Uh, they're going to move more towards meal deals, which they really haven't done 
in the past, contrast with Greg's. And you may well have seen they've introduced a new subscription coffee service. I think you can buy up to five cups of coffee a day for about 20 quid a month. They're also basically trying to enter the grocery market, selling coffee and prepackaged food delivered to homes. So Pret is at least trying to, re- to respond to what they perceive to be quite a significant fall in revenue. Well, hopefully you found those examples useful. I think with these examples, it'll be interesting to see whether business revenues recover as the economies pick up from recession uh, and the success of otherwise of strategies designed to offset or reverse those revenue shortfalls in cruises and in Uber pickups and uh, sandwich shops uh, will, will be really quite interesting to see. Are we seeing kind of structural changes in the revenues from different markets, which ultimately will have an impact on profits, investment and jobs? Okay, thank you very much indeed.